All right. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to uh, welcome back to the garage. It's a beautiful day here in Southern California. And uh, real quick, I just wanted to quickly talk about the fact that I'm having some issues with this new Milwaukee Gen 3 hammer drill. And uh, the main issue is that it gets really, really hot when you run it not all that much. I, uh, I was just uh, drilling out some holes, making this shooting target here, making this base for this target, and then also making uh, that stand right there for my Yeti cooler, those wheels and stuff. And uh, just drilling a few holes, nothing crazy, just drilling some holes in steel like you would normally do. And I felt the drill getting hot to the touch. So I uh, rigged up the drill here so that we could actually see what the voltage and everything is and measure the heat. It's only been running for uh, maybe, maybe a minute, maybe two minutes straight with no uh, with no draw, no resistance on the chuck. And um, you can see right there, whew, parts of it are pretty warm. Oh yeah, 106, 111. What about the handle? One, mm -hmm. Yeah, the base of the handle, this is where your thumb would go right there. That's over 100 degrees. And I bet it's gonna keep climbing. So, I don't know what the deal is. The air, the exhaust coming out of it, oh my God. Let's put it, hold on. Let's put it in max. Damn. Holy shit. Wow, that's... That's freaking hot. There it is, too. Oh, my batteries might be done or something. I don't know. But, uh... I'm pretty sure that's not normal, guys. So, when I was looking at how this thing's designed... Yeah, that handle right there is over 100 degrees. Yeah, you wouldn't want to hold that. That's not good. Damn. Should have angled it down a little bit. Holy shit. Yeah. That's not good. So, this one might be defective. I don't know. The motor windings could be bad. Something could be going on. But I did notice... When I was looking at the hammer drill, and my bigger hammer drill, you see, you see right here, it's got these little inlets to let air in. And then here's the exhaust fan. Inlets make sense, let cool air in, hot air goes out the back, right? When you take a look at this thing, there's no air inlets anywhere where you would think they would be right around here. There ain't nothing there. It's just a solid casing. This looks like it could be some kind of air inlet, but then it did have to go all the way through the handle, past the motor controller, the ESC, and then out the back. I just got my hand on the exhaust fan right here, and that, that air coming out of there is definitely warm. Um, let's take another temperature reading. Put her back in the vice here. Oh, yeah. Woo! It hasn't been running that long. The base of the handle, your hand would be right there. That's 116 degrees. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty warm. Anyways, I just wanted to take a little video of that, show you guys something that I thought was pretty strange. Also, if you guys are ever curious about how much amps these things draw, I got it rigged up here so we can actually take a look. It's, um, now that it's warmed up, it's drawing five and a half amps with zero load. 
so that's quite a bit. And just by putting my hand on the chuck and creating a little resistance, you can see it jump up because it has to fight against my, you know, just some friction. Whew, that gets hot on my finger. So that's interesting. And then if we switch over to volts, on the volt side, it's doing, oh, it's doing a uh, 19.3 volts. So yeah, this battery started out fully charged and uh, as the battery declines, as it loses charge, you see the volts drop. Yep, there it goes. So there's another uh, hundredth of a volt, another hundredth of a volt. So it's actually chewing through this battery pretty good because when these Milwaukee M18s are fully charged, the voltage should be 20.7, 20.75, somewhere in that range. And uh, here I can show you right now because this one right here is fully charged. This 9.0 is fully charged. And right there, 20.59. Uh, so it's not quite. It's pretty close. We could probably stick it back in there and get it a little bit more charged. There we go. Yeah, 20.59. So let's stick this back in over here and see what we're at. Yeah, it's, it's sucking down juice for sure. That heat, that heat is uh, definitely causing some inefficiencies in the motor. No question. We have to zero out our amperage. There we go. 5.8 amps, so 6 amps times 20 volts, it's about 120 watts of power, interesting. And, oh wow, oh yeah, it's, it's scooting through this battery like it's nobody's business. I don't think it should be doing that. That's, uh, yeah, there's probably something wrong with this drill. Yep, well, good thing Home Depot and uh, Milwaukee stand behind their products, guys. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, we're definitely going to have to see what's going on here. Let's, let's get into our temp rating now that it's been going for a minute. That's just the body, 130. Woo! Pull up the handle. 115, oh damn, upwards of 120. You can see as we move further away from the motor, it gets cooler. 140, oh, oh boy. Yeah, I think we might have gotten a, a defective one here. If you were out on the job site and you were, you were drilling beans or something with like this, or you were trying to install something, you know, repetitive use for hours and hours and hours, you wouldn't want, you wouldn't want a tool to get that hot in your hand. That would be uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's a little hot to the touch. I wouldn't want to hold that. No, I definitely wouldn't want to hold that. You can see there's zero load. There's no resistance on this. This should not be this warm. It. 125 on the back. So if you were pressing onto the back of this in order to create some driving force, that would be that would be unpleasant for you. The handle again. Damn. Alright guys, well that's it. That's all I got for you today. Um, see you next time. Thanks.